everyone, Matt Metzger here with ABI Attachments. Welcome back to another episode of the ABI Dirt. If you've been with us for a while now, and I think we've been doing these shows about 10 months now, uh, thank you. Thanks for sticking with us. Hope you have found this information helpful, beneficial to the work that you're doing. If you are fairly new to the ABI Dirt, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, the ABI Dirt is intended to be this kind of virtual showroom slash outdoor worker resource library slash kind of like back porch where we kind of sit and swap stories a little bit. So uh, you can expect to find some insights and some closer looks at some of the patented and innovative features of our products, as well as some information just about the, the dirt work industries, whether that's uh, equine arenas or your gravel driveway or uh, any kind of seed prep, uh, sod prep, any kind of contracted dirt work there or into sports turf fields as well. And we also would love to have additional conversations with all of you. You're gonna see interviews and site visits, all kinds of fun stuff, especially here once uh, the snow gets off the ground here in the northern part of the country. So thank you for joining us. Remember, if you don't wanna miss any future episodes, make sure to click that subscribe button and even the notification bell. That way you get dinged and that way you can see the content that comes out just about every week around here. On today's episode, we're actually gonna deviate a little bit rather than taking a closer look at a patented feature or innovative feature on one of our attachments, we're actually gonna take a closer look at a component on your tractor. We're taking a look at the top link, specifically the hydraulic top link, on the tractor that connects the three-point system to whatever you've got attached to the rear end. Now, personally, I think this is one of the most overlooked components of the tractor, and I know that, you know, that sounds, like a bit, <laughs> it sounds like a big boast, but it plays a huge role in manipulating and making, helping you get the most out of whatever attachment you've got connected to your three-point system. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are. We are at the back end of our John Deere 4066. You can see that we are connected with a hydraulic top link to a quick attach system that's connected to our TR3 E-Series Equine Edition. Now, before we deep dive into the hydraulic top link, uh, first I want to talk about something that you may be more familiar with, and that is your manual top link. So this is a standard manual top link that typically comes either if you just purchased a tractor, sometimes it may also come with whatever three-point attachment you purchased. This is what connects the top, hence top link, of your three-point attachment system to whatever three-point attachment tool you're working with. The reason I think this is so understated is because this top link is what controls the pitch of your attachment. So whereas the bottom two arms of your three-point system are responsible for the raising and lowering the up and down, this is what controls how the attachment actually engages. Now keep in mind that every three-point attachment comes engineered, comes designed to engage in a certain way. If you can picture your, your typical or your traditional, your box blade, your land plane, everything needs to run parallel to the ground. If you're familiar with our ABI TR3 or the TR3 E-Series line of products, you know that we've got everything at a bit of an angle and all of our components are adjusted to function at that angle. And so you've got to think about what tool you're using and what will happen to that tool and the soil you're working with if you change the pitch of the tool. Now, I'm gonna go through kind of some nitty gritty details here with me and, and hang with me uh, because this might provide you some insights that uh, might save save you some frustration <laughs> in the future. So on a typical manual top link like, like this, you can see that you've got your hander here in the middle as well as your two threaded eye bolts with your trunnions on either end. I'm sorry, I'm gonna talk like 101 level stuff today when it comes to this top link. If you're new to the game, make sure that when you've got this connected to your unit and you're making adjustments, if you want to extend or contract this top link, do so by rotating this centrifuge here, right? With, bo with both ends pinned in, because when you rotate this centrifuge, then both of the threaded eye bolts extend out or contract in simultaneously. You've got the same amount of thread on either side. If you go about doing one of these numbers when it's not connected, then you're only changing one of the eye bolts. Everything is gonna get a bit cattywampus. And if you start to rotate this, you could end up having an attachment on your tractor and one of the eye bolts pops out. I'm not gonna tell you that I know that from experience. I'm just saying that would be a pain in the butt, right? So make sure you have your both ends pinned in. That way you can extend both at the same time. Now, when it comes to maintenance of this, and I know it's, I mean, it's a couple of pounds. How much maintenance can it be, right? But don't forget that anytime you've got metal on metal and it's going to be outside in the elements, you could potentially run into some maintenance issues, right? If you don't keep these threaded ends greased up a little bit, uh, use your favorite anti-seize, whatever you like to use, then you could potentially get in a situation that things rest up. I mean, how many, let's see a show of hands, be honest, right? How many of you had gone to turn one of these top links 
and you're seized fast. And then you start saying things you shouldn't say and looking for a hammer in the toolbox and it gets really ugly really fast, right? So do yourself a favor, whatever your regular maintenance is with your tractor, just remember spray a little WD-40, whatever your favorite anti-seize rust-free is into the threaded bolts, run this thing all the way out, run it all the way back in, that way that coating gets on the thread, it will save you a headache later, I promise. Now, the benefit of a manual top link is that you can get really, really precise with how extended or contracted it is, right? Because every little bit of angle of rotation gives you just a little bit of extension or contraction, which will change just a little bit the angle of your attachment. Whereas hydraulic, which we're gonna get to, it's really hard to dial in unless you're messing with the hydraulic system. This gives you some precise movement. So if you've got an attachment, it's like a set it and forget it, kind of one trick pony kind of tool that you're never gonna change it ever, you want it dialed in perfect, manual top link could be the best option for you, right? These are also really affordable, really easy to replace. You go to your local farm ranch ag supply store. These you just grab off the shelf, you can swap them out. Honestly, you should have a top link hanging out either in a toolbox or on your tractor somewhere just in case you left it with the last attachment you connected to. So that's the rundown on this manual top link. Now, if you are using attachments that could benefit from being changed. And this is why here at ABI, that's why we're talking about the hydraulic top link. And honestly, that is why we recommend the hydraulic top link if you're jumping into some of our innovative and patented products, because the vast majority of products that we've invented here, they're multi-purpose tools. Our goal is to give you one product that can suffice in a lot of situations. That way you're not constantly running back to the barn or running back to the lot to grab the other tool, right? There's no sense in going through a box blade and a land plane and a rear blade and a landscape rake. We want to give you the TR3, TR3E series. We want to give you the gravel rascal with a three point. We want to give you a three point attachment that's kind of like the Swiss army knife on the back of your tractor. That's why we call it the next generation of attachments, right? So we like to have our products be multifunction, which means depending on what angle you have them in out the back of your tractor, it will change what you can do with the tool, right? That's why we always recommend a hydraulic top link because the hydraulic top link uses the hydraulic system on your tractor so that from the seat of your tractor, you can hitch your remote and you can change the angle of engagement on your attachments. So on this hydraulic top link then, you can see still pins into the tractor, pins in the back. I know since we're being 101, always make sure on the hydraulic top link. I know this is, <laughs> it's a dummy move, I know, but I. I can't be the only one who's done it, right? Make sure that the end of your top link that is actually extending out of that cylinder is facing the attachment, right? That way your hoses don't jump around. You can see that we've got our hoses connected up to our rear facing hydraulic ports here. That is a kicker about a hydraulic top link. You do need to have rear facing hydraulic ports, right? To actually make everything work correctly. So that's the simple connection. Feed that into your rear facing hydraulic ports. And now you've got the ability from your tractor, push button, extend, and contract. Now, like I mentioned before, it's a little bit finicky, especially depending on the hydraulic system on your tractor, or maybe how old your tractor is, to dial it in precisely. Every time you tap that button, it's gonna jerk a little bit. So if you're into precise, again, that's what these threads are for. But the advantage you get, and this is where it's 10 to one over something that's a manual top length like this, you're changing that pitch. You can do it from the seat of your tractor and you can do it on the fly. That means if you get to a spot in the, in the dirt that you're working in to prepare a seed bed, or if you get to a spot in your gravel drive that you need a little bit more grab or a little bit more teeth, you can ex contract the pitch, extend it, whatever you need to do to grab a little bit more material. Or maybe you see a low spot, you wanna pull some more and so you need to drop the tail down. Or specifically on the TR3 and TR3 E series line of products, if you're operating a tractor in reverse and you wanna leverage that finish rake like a mini dozer or a scalping sod or pushing material, you want that finish rake tail down a little bit. So from the seat of your tractor, hit the button, extend the hydraulic top link, go tail down, and now you're scalping sod off the surface to give you some bare topsoil or you're pushing a pile of material. That's the value of giving you control. And that's really the game between the hydraulic and the manual top link. How much control do you want from the seat of your tractor? So if you're left thinking now, which of these top links is right for me? I've got a couple of questions for you, right? So first question is, what attachment do you work with behind your tractor? Again, if you've got something that's more like a one trick pony, that it's kind of a set it and forget it, get in one position and you're good to go, maybe you can get by with these manual top links. 
It's more affordable, it's easy to throw in, less mess, less worry, you're good to go. Uh, but if you are someone who really likes to take control of the tool, take control of what you're doing in the soil, then I'd strongly encourage you to consider one of these hydraulic coplings. Not gonna lie, yes, they're more expensive, absolutely. But if you're at your dealership, just tell, tell them that Matt at ABI sent you and they'll give you a discount. Can't actually guarantee that's probably, they don't know me. But just remember your time has value. How many times do you get on and off the tractor, making little adjustments, needing to change the angle of the pitch of what you're working on, rather than being able to do so from the seat of your tractor? Rather than hopping on and off, stay there, hit the button, work this back and forth to really maximize the investment of attachment. If you've invested in a new attachment recently, if you've invested in a tool that can help you get your work done, then make the most of it by putting it to work, by giving yourself the control from the seat of your tractor with a hydraulic top link. I hope that was helpful information on how imperative that top link is in the functioning of your three-point attachment, how you can use it to maximize the work that that three-point attachment can do. If you still have any questions about whether a manual or a hydraulic top link is best for you, remember we've got a team of factory reps that love answering questions like that. So either give us a call, drop us some information online, or even just leave a comment in the video below. We'll get you connected to a factory rep because we're here to help you get your work done. Until next time, take care.